Greetings, Jaja children. Want to see what time we are living on? Lily of the Valley here, bringing you greeting in the name of Jehovah, our Creator, and Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our King. I pray all of you had a blessed Passover, which reminds us how the Most High brought us out of Egypt with an outstretched arm, delivered us from Pharaoh's. Now we need to be delivered from all of these Satanists that you see are creeping up on us in ways that we don't even realize. So this is released on Gap Trends. Nike releases shoe dedicated to Satan with pentagram human blood in it. And you know what our Bible says, you know, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness, principalities and pro thrones, dominion, spiritual wickedness in high places. So this is how they're coming out with these things. We see these brands that we never ever Go and look up what they mean. So it says the shoe Little Nas X teams up with MSCHF to release a new athletic shoe, Air Max 97 Custom, dedicated to Satan, complete with a pentagram and a drop of human blood in each shoe. The shoe also contains the number 666 and come in a limited edition of 666 pairs and so on so this is the brand but where does it come from why do they sell their souls to the devil then sell you their goods and then you use your money to prop up satan's kingdom to fight against you you got to be careful now about all these logos and things so this is christian shines.com and it's telling you where the nike comes from it's a greek idol the greek goddess nike you know the grecians and the romans they really never fully embrace the bible because they still worship their flags their anthems their oaths their ethics their philosophers their planet solar systems that they learned from a lot of previous idolaters a lot of it is combined into one and they worship those things now and it goes with the brands and the logos. A lot of times when we were growing up, we didn't wear clothes with logos. We just wear plain things or colorful things or plaids, you know, scotch plaids and so on. But we really didn't grow up wearing a lot of brands. And our brands were more based on the Bible than anything else. But now there are these logos everywhere. So this one... You're going to learn the origin of it. It says the clothing brand Nike has a darker secret that very few people know or care about today. Nike is the world's largest retailer of athletic shoes and apparel, a major force of sports equipment and one of the biggest sports brands on earth. Nike was the female de deity of victory depicted as having glorious wings. Hence, she's called, often called the winged goddess she was the daughter of Pallas and the goddess Styx a sister of Kratos power Bea force and zealous zeal Styx was a nymph the daughter of Oceanus and the personification of one of the rivers to be crossed in passing over to the world beyond the grave and you know that's where they have um hell or 80s and where they have those large hydron collider trying to let out the demons trapped under the earth and then you see some people have the space stations trying to escape because they know the judgment and the wrath is coming and they get defeated so right now we have to start knowing what we're putting on our children in our homes in our bodies on ourselves it's a lot to go through because each day we just find more and more new things. So those who follow these um, satanic and these idolaters, they're going to perish. Okay. So in our Bible, it tells us little children, stay away from idols. The commandments, Exodus 20 tells you, don't have any images. Don't worship other gods. It comes under these things. But now you see, it says a lot of the Nicolaitans were partly responsible for the Christmas, Easter, the Ishtar, the Halloween, Valentine's Day, and other biblical 
pagan practices or for parents were the Puritans. They never celebrate Christmas in these Americas. I didn't grow up with any Christmas tree, Christmas present, birthday stuff or anything like that. It was later when I started traveling that I started doing it. But then I repented when I realized that it's just that people target you if you don't do these things. When you don't wear pants as a woman, they force you to do it because they want you to become like them into sinning against the Most High. So I had to repent of all the things that I used to do and go back to the way I was. When I was growing up, I didn't participate in those things. So now we have to leave and come out from amongst the devil and the demons and know how they push their ways on you knowingly and unknowingly. We just have to start repenting and start following the Bible as it is written. That's what being a Puritan is. Yeah. If it says you honor the Sabbath, you honor it. If it says don't wear clothes of mingled material or mingled seed or mingled flesh or whatever the laws are that Jesus didn't abolish, they're still in effect. We have laws of government, laws of marriage, laws of purity, laws of how to eat, what not to eat. Those laws are still in effect. So when you see the destruction coming upon you and your nations, this is some of the things where they come from. So some of the scriptures you can look at Ephesians 2, 2. The prince of the power of the air, Satan. He's also called Lucifer and Luciferians. Now you see they have the Lucifer rays. You have the HR bill 666.6 with a contact tracing. You have they want to kill the God gene. So all these demons, they team up with um, hybrid flesh mingled seed, Nephilim, and all those things to bring about um, chaos on earth and to lead mankind to destruction because there's no repentance for those devils and the fallen angels. But for mankind, we have repentance through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So they don't want anybody to be saved. So they have infiltrated the churches, politics, schools, Everything, down to the food, everything. The governments have been infiltrated by Satanism. But our Bible tells us by their deeds, you shall know them. So what they do, if it doesn't match up with what the scripture says, you know that they're from the devil. So when the Mosai dwells in us, he tells us, you know, what we need to look out for. We need to watch and to be praying yeah, so the Most High says, little children, stay away from idols. So these idols, so none of these things I'm going to be buying anymore. And I have to be using whatever I learn. I just change because, you know, we're all learning each day to correct our wrong ways because we were taught wrong. So as we learn new things, we correct and train in righteousness. Okay. So Revelations 2 verse 6, Revelation 2 verse 16, the most I hate the teaching of the Nicolaitans. And also, Revelation is the last book of the Bible. <clears throat> and John was in the spirit on the Lord's day. That's Revelation 1. Revelation says, those who keep the commandments of the most high will have right to the tree of life. That's in the last book too. That means the people who tell you that you can only be saved through grace. Well, Satan even believe in grace and all those things. So is Satan going to be saved? Do the people who believe in worshiping a Kaaba stone in the desert, which is an idol, even though they practice circumcision too, are they going to be saved? No, you have to be doing the will of your father who is in heaven. And he's the one who makes the rules because he created us. So there's no law on earth that goes above the laws of the creator. And we... Listen to our creator because he's always right. And when he tells us things are going to happen when you take the wrong path, we're already seeing it happening in the earth today because Christendom fell asleep, but Satan did not. So this is where that comes from. And it's a pagan symbol. And you can look at this article, Christianity Shines, and it's at... ChristianityShines.com, Satan's Deceptions, the Greek goddess Nike. 
so now that you see um them putting it bl with blood and things like that and 666 satan's time is up so he's not hiding it anywhere anymore his people and his followers they're out casting their spells they're lying to the earth making up their own rules but in the end they get defeated like they have been defeated many generations before now so with that i say shalom and have a blessed week